Hello YouTube friends, welcome to The Last Homely House. It's a bit of a family day today. I'm Kate and my daughter-in-law Anna is here. She's just making a pot of tea. She's made a pot of tea. <laughs> Hello. Like here she is, thank you. Hi. And we're, uh, great, so pour us a cup of tea. But we're expecting John, my son John. I'm in the shop. Yeah, yeah you're in. <laughs> Gandalf's here, Frodo's <laughs> over here. Uh, and so, um, well, so we're expecting John. And I want to uh, explain to you what we're going to do today. Behind me here, you can see these flying goose blocks. Thank you. And I made these blocks, oh, months ago now. And if you, maybe you saw that video, I'll definitely leave a link to the video below. But John turned up at the end of me having made these first few geese. And he said, uh, what's the big fuss about putting putting all these blocks out and so I'm going to play that little clip for you right here now and then my son John turned up so if you're still watching Enjoy this little bit of silliness. All right, everyone. I watched uh, Mother's latest video last night with um, Ma Anna and Mother grafting away at their quilts. And there was this old section about how hard it is to arrange these blocks. It's not hard at all. You just lay them all out. I don't know what they, what they, were, what they were complaining about. I, I made this pattern in about a minute. And now I didn't quite like it, so I'm making a different pattern. And they were they were going on that it would take them uh, like a, a whole afternoon. What do you think? Straight away, look, quilt in done. Easy. I suppose sewing all the all the parts together isn't easy, is it? Like I couldn't I couldn't make all these lines. I did try, but mother doesn't like me going on a good sewing machine. She thinks I'm gonna smash it. <laughs> this is probably true. So I'll leave this on here for her when she comes back and then she can uh you know she's uh, she doesn't need to do this step now. I've saved her all that afternoon. <laughs> there you go. And there's two left over which she's not going to need, so. <laughs> See ya. So at that time I took a photograph of his layout and this morning I found that photo and I've laid it out here exactly as he did it that day. It was quite hard to do, wasn't it? It was hard to do. Putting it yeah. back together. <laughs> yeah, it was because he did, he took seconds to do it seconds yeah. but uh, it, it did take me a few minutes earlier on but I, think I love what he's done I love these back to back doesn't they look really fun <laughs> he has done a funky layout there hasn't yeah. he well I, I I haven't sewn them together because I thought that it would be great fun if I sewed them together in the way that he'd done that but then I thought how much better would it be if he did it yeah it's gonna be a fun video this one I think it might be well <laughs> if, if John's involved <laughs> yeah if he turns up he's oh, on his way he's he on his way he's on his way he's just sent a text to say he's on his way <laughs> So uh, we'll get him a cup and we'll have another cup of tea with him. So yeah. I think there's a disclaimer coming now. I have no idea what's going to happen in the rest of this video. <laughs> yeah. But as soon as John turns up, you can well imagine that uh, if you if you haven't seen any videos with John in, maybe we should do a John playlist. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, because he's, he's, he's yeah he's in them a little bit more on Patreon, isn't he? He it's, that's right. He's he, he does Patreon, but in fact he yeah. spent one whole year where he did a video a month for the patrons, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. That was really lovely. Yeah. Uh, but he's too busy now to do all of that. Mm. Uh, um, what's he busy doing? Oh, uh, house renovations. <laughs> They're knocking their house to bits. Yeah. It's actually quite amazing. Yeah. Uh, I went up there on um, Saturday. Sort of at the peak destroyed at the minute. Destroyed. Isn't it? <laughs> absolutely destroyed. It's not like they're knocking the house down, no. but the whole of the downstairs of the house is being ripped right back to the bare yeah. foundations. Got a digger in our living room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we'll put a little picture of the digger yeah. in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that's great. So that's uh, when he's not working, he's very busy doing all these house renovations because that's yes. going to take all of this spring, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, yeah big job. 
But as you're seeing this video, it's actually Mother's Day in the UK here. Uh, and uh, I wanted, particularly wanted to time this video to go out on Mother's Day. Uh, and uh, Mother's Day is in March uh, in the UK, traditionally Mothering Sunday. And so this is uh, our, my Mother's Day gift to you all. So we're, we're waiting for him. He's texted to say he's on his way, but that could mean anything, couldn't it? It could, yeah. So I think we might turn the camera off until he actually gets here. So John's turned up. <laughs> and I've just explained to him what I hope we might do. I mean, he knew. That's why he came. Okay. So he did. I was asked. I'm here. <laughs> so what I'm hoping we're going to do today is I'm going to show John how to use the sewing machine. Now, do you remember there's another video? I've just reminded the YouTube friends about the video where you made this. Yes. But do you remember the one where we helped put the dukey in? Where we wanted to fill the well with milk or beer. Yes, there's a big well with oil underneath it. <laughs> anyway, that's another stupid video. So I think um, we might leave that in the description below as well. So now what I want to explain to John mm. is how to sew these together. But first of all, I think I want to teach you how to use a sewing machine. All right. Now, John knows that I've just had the sewing machine serviced a week ago. So I'm not to smash it. That's right. I'll try not to. He won't. You won't smash it. We'll see. He's just had his lunch. He's got his dog here. Frank Every is here. Everyone's here today. So I'm going to take you across the sewing machine and All I'm right. going to show you exactly how it works. Okay. I've got some scrap fabric for you before we start in on the good stuff. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on then. <laughs> Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to sew. Okay, okay, John. All right. I need you to take it really slowly. I'll be slow. Because this is a very... <laughs> And sensible. I'll be sensible. This is a very powerful machine. So you know when you have new people who with, come to the workshop? With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> come on! <laughs> you know when you have new people who come to the workshop? They need you, an induction. They do. And so I'm doing an induction. All right, now. induct me. Go okay. on. Okay. So whenever you're sewing fabric at all, you would never sew a single piece. So you're always going to sew a double piece of fabric. There must be a time when you would sew a single piece. I can't imagine what that would be. Why would you put stitches on a single sheet of... Let's not go down that route. Okay, now, you've got an, a, a presser thing here. Don't yeah. put your feet on the... Presser. Press, press that sideways. Oh, you see what happens? foot comes up. The foot comes up. Okay, so we're going to... Foot up, needle gonna, up. And then down, down you go. Now, the thing... Be very careful now. <laughs> Come on! It goes very fast, so I just want to switch down, isn't it? Ooh, there, that's I'm in, it. I'm in, I'm that's sewing, it, I'm sewing, good. I'm sewing. Extremely good control, I like it a lot. And when you get to the end there, I'm good. it's very good. I need to be good at this. Stop. Now, needle, um, needle up with your knee, and we're going to turn this round. Okay. Needle didn't come up. Doesn't matter, because what you're going to do now is go back down again. Back down on the on the actual fabric. Yeah, I'm on the fabric. Right on the fabric. All right. That's it. And now I want you to go all the way down that edge. And if you like, you can go a little bit faster. That's it. You can get a bit of speed up, but try and keep an accuracy of how far away from the edge you are. Yeah, we've got that. Good. Okay. And when you get to the end. Don't come off the fabric. Now needle up. Needle up. And round Spin together. around. And go back the other way. This is easy. So okay. This is the layout from the photograph that I took of that day that you did this. Do you remember it? Mm. Okay. Well, I have a few more that I've made here. If you'd like to place those up in a similar cavalier manner. <laughs> what ultimate size are you after? Well... I was hoping to make quite a lot more flying geese so that we'd have a decent sized quilt and between then and now I haven't managed to do that so I've just made these few and we'll do what we can today and then I'll make more if you want to make a bigger quilt because I think you should have this quilt. Oh wonderful, how generous. <laughs> okay so... Because surely you can't be left with a... No you can't so only make it squarer. Um, then if there's one left over we won't use it but look at the fabrics and the colours you've got nah, and not, that's not so important it's not so important I think you get a bit hung up on all that 
you could, like I said, that time, I think you could save a lot of time. <laughs> Done, see? Okay, so there's one left there for the next time we make some. <laughs> Okay, I want to explain something really important now. Yeah. But because if you were going to put this together, sew it like you just have. Right. How would you do that? What would you do, choose to do first? Oh, uh, take off the uh, take off the top row to there. Take off that side row and sew though. No. I would need to make long lines. I don't know. This you've described brilliantly, the problems you have when you're sewing together something that's not terribly regular. Now these are a regular size, that block's the same size. So what we have to do is exactly what you were saying, is make blocks. So I would suggest that we sew this as a block here and then put it back on the... So take those two off, sew them together. Take those two off, sew them together, take those two off, sew them together, then sew each one together. That's exactly right. Then pin it back on. That's right. Then pin that one on. So, so. That's right. And so, <laughs> and so I think I'm going to do exactly that. Right, well, let's have it these just, two. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Now, which way around were they? Oh, does it matter? Yes, it matters. That way round, they were that way okay. round. Right, well, in that case, we need to take those then and we need to pin them here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to hand them to you pinned. But then, and this is important, come here. I want to show you this. When you've got these blocks like this, okay, <laughs> we need these seams to meet up here so that it's nice and neat. Oh, I see, I see, I okay? see. Okay, so I need you to, to, to line... I made a butcher block once. It's basically the same thing. So describe what a butcher block is. It's lots of little squares of timber all glued together. Well, this is exactly what this is. It's but just without like glue. a wooden quilt. So I'm going to get you to sew that on a quarter inch, right. making sure that you've got those lined up. And I'm going to and take the pin out when you get to the pin and stick it on that little magnet above you. The pin magnet. The pin magnet. Alternatively, just throw the pin on the floor. No, because your dog's here. So, it, so where the threads are, I need you to clip them apart. Clip. And remember what order they're in. That's the order. And that's the order. And so now we're going to sew those together, but we can't do that until we press them open. Oh dear. And so I've got the iron set up here, and I'm just going to press this open here. Shall I be your presser? Because unless you want to... I'm going to do some pressing. Okay, you, you press it then. Right. So remember, that's the top one. That's the middle one. That's the middle one. And that's the... Okay, so I'll get out of your way and you press them and I'll get oh, the next no. one. No, that's perfect. No, no, that's fine. That's okay. In fact... I messed it up. You press them. Can you get in sitting down to do this? This is a swanky iron that uh, you can just leave it down on the... On the ironing board. There'll never be a point to having an iron. <laughs> this is the point. Put it no, put it down. Watch. There you go. And that's the middle one. And now this one is just nick that off for me, please. And then this is the end one. Okay, so we'll give that a press. Don't worry. I think if you were making I'm not worried. Okay. I'm really if you're making something out of wood. Your precision would have to be like millimetre precise, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. With fabric, we can get away with it being just a little bit less than that, and we can sort of ease it in. So don't worry too much about it. You know, you've just said you're not worried. Okay, right, and that's the bottom one, isn't it? So they're, so they're like that. All right. Okay, so this one They're not goes, very straight lines, though. It doesn't matter. It won't matter too much. So this one's going to go onto here. Oh, right. Easy. And now, easy. No, no, no. Don't just... rush. Just line those up until you yeah, know that you've got one. fabric on both sides. Okay, so if it's a little bit... Yeah, it'll be fine. But Just I've got the seam width as well. Yes, but make sure that those are lined up, so that those joins are lined up. <laughs> line, line, line. It's important for accuracy. <laughs> okay, watch your fingers.
2人と。Not very straight. Doesn't matter. We can work with that. It's an interesting way of ironing, Tom. <laughs> Is that not how you do it? It's fine. You can go for it. <laughs> There's two more now to sew, but don't sew those together because they they aren't together ones. They're just more of your jigsaw. You'd be pretty pleased with yourself if you invented the sewing machine, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's actually an amazing thing, the way that the, the bottom thread loops up. It's amazing. Oh, I can't find that one. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just going to point something out to your son. All oh, right. In the interest of... Uh, Always after some constructive criticism. I think you're doing brilliantly, really brilliantly well. But oh, about cutting the corners off? Yes, and so... How do you avoid that? I'm going to show you. So this is a flying goose, yeah. and when I constructed this block, I made great efforts to make sure I didn't cut its beak off. But now I've cut its wings But now off. you're clipping its wings a little bit. And so your seam, it's, it's an okay seam. But it's I'm copying, I'm following that. Yeah, though. okay, well, I just keep going then. Don't so mind. So do you think follow to not, sometimes not stick so much to the rule of following that? No, follow, what did you call it? At work? What the did, fence. The fence. You follow your fence, mate. But you follow your fence. No, 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 look, I, hey, hey, hey. I, I, if, <laughs> You're if, doing a generous quarter inch is what I'd say. You think? I'd say so, take your time. So does that need to be? Ever so, but not now, because they're all like that now. Yeah. <laughs> so don't start, don't, don't change it now. Should we, I mean, um, we've, no, we won't unpick, unpick them. No, we definitely won't unpick them. <laughs> no way. No, no, it's all good. We'll take it as that kind of a goose. Well, I think if you were expecting perfection. We weren't looking for perfection. No. Because the geese themselves weren't mega perfect. But that, okay. but I can see what you mean. Aesthetically, it's, that's not great, is it? It's got, Goose has got its little wings, but it's all right. Right, I'm going to give you some more to sew together. And this time, these are going to go short way along. So you sew, so this time you're sewing along there. well back. Yes, yeah, so and you can use that. That's perfect. Where does that one go? In our jigsaw. There it is. That one needs it. Uh, what I want you to do now though is sew those two together please. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Is this not up. what it was supposed to be? No, it's perfect. It's a, it's a joiner's goose. Okay, last seam and then the two big bits to sew together and then we'll look at our work and see what we've done. We'll, we'll uh, compare and contrast. <laughs> right, don't worry about that last goose then. Just sew right off the end of it. Okay, and I'll press this last one. He dropped all his thread bunnies. Oh, double, remember, if you're going to choose a new thread bunny. Why? Because you always sew over double fabric, never over single. Why? 
because I said so and I'm your mother. There's a good reason why. It's good for the machine. Actually, why do you only ever sew over double fabric? I bet someone in the comments knows. You cut that thread bunny off for me, darling. Oh, dead goose. That's some mega dead geese on here, mind. <laughs> well, don't worry about it at all. Now, this is the last seam. See, when I put this up here, that one. You too should <laughs> Oh, no. Ah. We manage that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How did we manage that? Hold on, can we not do this? Can we not do this? And cut that off. Yeah, yeah, we'll just lose that one. We'll unpick that one. <laughs> um, How has this happened, Mother? Um, well, like I said... Use your quilting skills I'm to identify where the issue ar ar I would, arose. I like sewing my geese into long skeins of geese. Right. And I think we've lost a lot of <laughs> integrity in our seams. So what we're going to do then, we're just going to unpick this one. I'm never allowed to have a go with this. Okay. <laughs> now there's a legitimate reason why I should. Exactly. No. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it. You have to find the stitch. And then, <laughs> and then go in there. Nah. <laughs> and then let me show you something. Let show me, sh me something. Oh, easy. <laughs> no, no. Please don't do that. Okay, we're going to sew this one to this one now, like that. And we're going to see that one to that one. And don't worry about this piece. We'll put that there as a little. Okay. <laughs> Or it could be the front and back of the tabard. <laughs> you really want a tabard? No. I'm not making you a tabard. Flying goose tabard. You would never ever wear a tabard that I made you out of Well, I would for a moment as a yeah, joke. Yeah, exactly. But this is not a joke. There's a lot of work gone into this. So we do, we just split the difference like that. Yeah, split the difference. So that's correct. That's correct. And so's that. But this is where we've lost quite a lot Mm. of fabric so that one should be there and then if we'd left that piece on that would have pretty much eased in but we've lost quite a lot you see that goose is much much smaller than that goose isn't it yeah so i think what in the spirit of this exercise i think you should just sew those together <laughs> the best way you can all right and then what we might do then is put some little in filling bits, that's what we could do. In fact, wait, put it down on here. I've just had a marvellous idea. Put it down on here. Okay, look. Okay, so we'll make it fit where it fits, okay? And then... Oh, where's that row you cut off? Exactly. We'll pop it back on. Just We just unpick that. Um, no, but we wanted to do it like that. Then one goose, right width. one goose at the bottom. Then it's the right width. Well, what about that then? We've got geese. We've got one, two, three, four different well, coloured geese. Yes. Well, I was about that. And we have got four different coloured geese. Okay, so sew so these. Oh, not that one. So those together. I'm a terrible ripper. Sideways. Where's the other one? There were four. Can I have another one, please? Is it on the floor? It's on the other end of that. Oh, so it is. Okay. So now, you s iron them first. This is going to work. We're going to, we're going to, I don't know what, what, quite what we're going to do. But this is definitely going to work. So when you're ironing something like that, if you do it from the back, you'll be able to press the seams open. Because you need that seam open. It That's open. it. That's it. And the same again with that one. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This is going to work. It's going to look fantastic. Well, the one to press open. So there'll be four vagrant geese at the bottom. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Some particularly rare geese. An emperor goose. Oh, what kind of geese can we have? Less a white fronted goose. Okay, we'll have that one. Two more. Ross's goose. And Eileen. 
No. Okay. A wild goose. A, a wild goose, okay. And a blue morph snow goose. Okay. For I'm, all the Americans. I'm game for that. So those together, you can do them upside down or downside up, whichever like way you that, like. Right. Any way you like, they're gonna go here. So I need to do that like that, right? Yes. I'll just sew this so that you can sew it to it. And we're just gonna do some creative pressing for that other piece over there. So you sew your little strip of four together. And then it's gonna go on the We're saving the day. We we're doing something like that. Now I'm going to because this end here and this end here are one goose bigger. And I'm gonna just press this relentlessly so it lies flat. It's so quite good how you can just change things up, isn't it? I like that actually. I, I, yeah, I really do like being able to change things up. Um, and imp improvisational quilting, improv quilting, is uh, is all about this, like putting a slip of fabric in here. But actually, it takes quite a lot of designing to do that well. Mother's saved the day. Okay, so let's see. <coughs> let's see how you've uh, managed to make that a bit longer. Put it up against this one here uh, because this is the other half of it. And now that's, that's perfect. Right. That you is that good. It. You've definitely saved the day. That is so good. Okay, so so that one to that one. This is the big. This is the big one, isn't this it? This is the finish. The that one to that ultimate. one. This is it. This is you it. Better not mess this one up, eh? Well, I don't know. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you sew those two together. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up all these thread bunnies on the floor. They just fall. Nope. All right. Oh. You know what I mean? We can pin it if you like. Do you would like to pin it at intervals? I'll show you what I mean. Here you are, I'll get a few pins, look. And when things get very big like this, so we're going to be doing these two edges here. And so, what you can do if you like, is you can put a pin in. That's why there's so many pins lying about. That's so right, that's why I have a lot of pins, John. And so that one, you could put a pin in. Give me a go. Okay, there's the pins. Yellow one. And when you put them in, Put them in with the head pointing to the outside so that you can take them out easily when you're sewing. Right. And never sew over a pin, ever. Why? Because you'll break my needle. Well. I will, you will. Don't sew over a pin, please. That's it, and then... You'll break my heart. And that as well. My needle and then my heart. Okay, so that, that's why you've got the magnet thing on the juki. Okay, the last seam, a long, long seam. So you've pinned a bit. It's a bit long um, for arms and things. Well you don't, so just concentrate on this bit. Hold it here and just forget this bit and just concentrate on the bit that you've got in front of you. And then that's it. And then when, when that bit's sewn, move your hands back. That's it, that works. You don't have to worry about all this other stuff on your knee. Sorry, pro quilters out there. <laughs> Next time, I'll teach you about nesting seams.
Is, uh, is this an example of poorly nested seams? I'm saying nothing. But next time we'll do nested seams. But we won't choose such a complicated block. Because, of course, I made these blocks and you, and you position them and then sew them together. But the next time we'll choose a different block. And I'll teach... So you've started with something very, very complicated indeed. <laughs> Pin it on the board, John. And Some scraggly. Now scraggly, scraggly. See how much smaller it's gone? Yeah. Because every one of those seams has taken up a bit of fabric. So you start off with something quite big and it scooches down. I mean, it's quite good along there. Some good lines there, but some. Well, what about that bit there? I don't mind it at all. I think for a first effort, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Step in a bit. Hasn't he done? Hasn't he done well? So, do you think you'll do some more quilting? Well, maybe. I think an easier block next time. Yeah. Don't you? I think probably. I mean, if these are, if it's important to get these lines up, then I think that's that's. Well, you can decide. It's either important or it isn't. And for me, for this now, it isn't important. No, it's not important. But then, let me tell you something else now. Tell that's me. That's not finished. Oh. Well, it isn't, yeah. is it? Because it's just a piece of fabric. We now have to sandwich it together with a backing and quilt wadding, yeah. and and learn how to quilt stitch. Shall we do that next time? Stitch in the ditch. <laughs> Let's do that next time. Would you, would you like to see him stitch in the ditch? Yeah. Is that, <laughs> is that, is, is that this done for today, is it? <laughs> I think you'd quite like it to be, wouldn't no, you? No, I'm happy to do more I think, stitching. No, I th well, we would lay out the quilt sandwich and, st and stitch in the ditch and I'll teach you about binding. Bindings, and yes. You've got to have the edges. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got so little like label on the bottom saying, nearby. John Jackson, <laughs> right? In Geordie. Yeah. In Geordie. Yeah, you do. So that's been quite an interesting video uh, to film. I wonder what it's going to be like to watch. I've really, really enjoyed it. And so if you've enjoyed it, you know what you need to do, don't you? Thumbs up. Put your thumbs up and like it and subscribe and all of that kind of thing. And of course, it wouldn't be a video without a head rub. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. Bye. <laughs> You're a clown. I've loved that. Well done, Mother. Happy Mother's Day.